If you own a drone, you need to get yourself this app. What happens a lot of the time is we get our drone out, unfold it, set it up, and we just launch it. We don't even check anything. That's why I think it's so important to have a drone companion app that can just slow you down so that you can check the conditions and make sure that you're not gonna fly into a bunch of wind or some rain that's coming towards you. Things like that that you don't really think about a lot of the time, Drone Buddy gives you everything that you need. What's going on, beautiful internet family? My name is Dan Davis, and I'm the creative director here on danstube.tv, which is Australia's number one ranked drone YouTube channel. I'm also the course creator over on the Fearless Drone Academy, which is the ultimate online drone course for beginners. And today I've got my updated review on Drone Buddy. So this video will be uploaded on both danstube.tv as well as Drone Buddy's YouTube channel. So show love on both of those channels. Make sure you subscribe to Drone Buddy. Make sure you subscribe to me. Drone Buddy has a bunch of cool features. And the thing I love about a small developer like Drone Buddy is the fact that they truly care about their audience. They're constantly listening to their audience about things that they want to add. There's a new feature that will be coming out even after I've done this new updated feature that I'm about to mention very soon. And that's another exciting feature that just makes it such a comprehensive experience for drone pilots. It's so important that we support small developers because they're the ones that innovate a lot of the time. And Drone Buddy is no exception here. So you can see that we've got the conditions. So we can see the temperature, we can see that it's a clear day today, we can then see the wind speed as well as the wind gust. So if you click into wind forecast, if you have the pro version, it will break it down into an hourly update. So for example, here we can see that at 4 p.m. the wind conditions are relatively strong, but then as the night goes on, wind conditions come down and it's a lot more manageable. So this is very important to know, especially before you fly in a location, because you wanna make sure that the winds aren't picking up. And if it is a very windy day, you wanna come in here and see and go, okay, well, the winds are going to go down around 2 p.m. So I'll plan to fly a little later in the day. It's ideal for those kind of scenarios. You can break it down in a daily as well. So you can see the wind forecast on a daily situation or a daily update. You also get the flying conditions. So this lets you know about a lot of different things. Visibility is a good one. Humidity, cloud cover, You've got UV index as well, which is great to know. Bunch of things in here that you wanna know as a pilot to make sure you've got the sunscreen or the sun protection with a hat or whatever it is that you need to prepare for depending on the scenario you're about to go into. Visibility is a big one. Humidity as well, because you wanna make sure you've got your water with you. You wanna make sure that it's not gonna be one of those days that's gonna exhaust you. So planning for these things in advance is great. And in the top right corner, you can search for any location. So let's say for example, I'm based in Brisbane, but let's say I'm going to the Sunshine Coast. I can then see a Maruchador is windy. I can see it's 25 Celsius, a max of 28. And I can see that the gust speeds are getting up to 48.6 kilometers. So 38 kilometers is kind of the tip of what most DJI drones can handle, the Mini 4 Pro, the Air 3, you know, a lot of them have a level five wind resistance, which takes it up to 38 kilometers of max wind speed that it can handle. So a day like this, even though it's 26.4 kilometer winds, there are gusts of 48 kilometers. So you just need to keep that in mind and be very careful. It's also saying that there's a chance of precipitation. So we know that there's a possibility for rain in this location. Humidity is a little hotter, I think, at 69%. We can also see the sunshine hours, right? So we can see that around 6 p.m. is when the sun is going to go down. And then we can also see the no-fly zone as well. So we can zoom in and figure out where we need to avoid flying if there are any air zones in the area or airports in the area. Really important to know, especially the no-fly zones because you do not want to have any issues when you're flying your drone. But what's really exciting here is the fact that we have the weather map. So this is the brand new update that has just come out and this is really cool. This is actually such a cool feature. So I can click on wind, which is already on, and I can see on a map what direction the wind is going in. So this is crucial, right? because if I'm flying over the ocean, I wanna make sure that I know that the wind's going to be blowing in a particular direction. There's nothing worse than going with the wind and flying out over the ocean. And then when you wanna come back, you're flying against the wind then, and you're going to struggle to come back because your drone's gonna be battling that wind even harder. You might take you a little longer to come back. So you might've prepared to go, oh, well, it only took me a few minutes to get to this location. It'll only take a few minutes to come back. Maybe it's gonna take five minutes because the wind is that intense and it's blowing against your drone, so it's making it work even harder. So this is important because it shows you clearly the wind direction. You can see the intensity of the wind as well, and so I can move this little point here. I can also play to see you know, what the wind's looking like as time goes on. I can also change the time. So you can see Friday the 27th at 7 a.m., the wind direction has changed again. And I can skip a little bit further, 
and now we're on Saturday and now it's changed to the other direction again. So really important to know these things. You wanna make sure that you're checking it on the day, of course, but this is good to know in advance. And we can see in the top left, the wind speed is actually coming down. So it's coming down to 10 kilometers. So on Sunday, it actually looks like a calm day to fly. But if I pull it back, I can pull it back to Wednesday, which is today. And we're sitting at 2 p.m., 3 p.m. So around now, around 5, 12 p.m., we can see the wind is 22.7 kilometers and we can actually see the wind direction. But if I play that, I can then see what to expect. And that is huge because I can see that the wind is coming down. So it allows me to plan and it also lets me see what direction the wind's going in. Because as I'm sure you've seen, the wind direction changes quite a lot. And to be able to prepare for that and to know exactly you know, which way you need to fly your drone or how prepared you need to be to bring your drone back in those conditions, that is super handy. We can then view the radar as well, which is very handy. We can see uh, you know, the different changes that are happening with the temperatures in the area. So that's handy to know as well. We can also go into cloud coverage. So we can see what to expect from the clouds. And we can see here all the clouds moving around. Again, very handy to know, especially with a drone, because as I'm sure you'd know, if it's an overcast day, not the best time to film. So to be able to know where that cloud cover is coming and to be able to prepare for it with this little radar here, we can see it's developing around the Gold Coast, for example. And I just know that as I'm skipping, I can see it's looking like Friday is gonna be a bit more overcast. So I can be prepared for that in advance and I can see what's coming up. And especially on the day as well, it's handy to just play from the day and just see what the cloud movement's looking like, to see what the wind's looking like. It just gives you some sort of preparation to know if there is some changes coming up, at least you're gonna be prepared for that. And like a rain cloud coming over or a cloudy kind of zone is, you know, all of a sudden gonna happen. The clouds are gonna form and come over the top of you or rain's gonna start happening or wind direction's gonna change. Any of that stuff that might pop up, you can actually be prepared for it in advance. So really handy to know this kind of stuff. And then you can also go into precipitation, which is to let you know the rain. So we can see that there's zero millimeters where I'm based here. So let's kind of move down to Brisbane and we'll just go to the, the Cleveland area here. I'll pull it back to Wednesday and let's just let it play out and see if any rain's coming. I don't believe there is any today. You can see Thursday's not too bad as well. And then here we go. This is where we can see the rain's coming Thursday at night. So it looks like it just comes out of nowhere. You can see like the map just starts filling up and that's literally what happens with rain, right? You can be flying, facing one direction, behind you all of a sudden there's rain clouds forming and then they just come over the top of you and you're not prepared. So to be able to see this and to go, okay, well I can prepare for 0.8 millimeters of rain at this time is actually really handy information to know and just to jump between them to see what's happening with the wind, to see what's happening with the radar, the cloud and the precipitation, all very handy at a glance information to know. And like I said, this is a brand new feature that came out from the developer. So, so even if you don't have the pro version, the free version of Drone Buddy has it all. It's a feature rich offering here and you're getting all of this available to you. So very handy at a glance information. The other thing that's really cool is you do get some drone news and you can also see some drone sites. So you can see some recommended spots to fly. You can see there's a few around my area and I actually did submit a, uh, a site recently. So you can see over here, over on North Stradbroke Island, I did submit Point Lookout, North Stradbroke Island. I wrote, go for a walk along the gorge at North Stradbroke Island. It is likely that you'll see kangaroos, whales, and dolphins. It is a perfect spot to visit during whale migration season. Great spot to fly your drone. So I've taken that photo. I've set up the, the site type, pinned a location. And now once that's been approved, other people in the community can then view different sites to fly their drones. So really awesome concept for a, uh, a drone community and a drone companion app. So definitely check out Drone Buddy. Well worth it, especially now that we've got brand new features with that wind option, the radar, the cloud, and the precipitation. Really cool offering here and highly recommend it. So thank you everyone so much for watching. I appreciate all of your support and I'll chat to you in the next one. Peace.